welcome to West Coast Trail Day 5. This is our last final day on the West Coast Trail. I'll be sad to say goodbye to it. This trail has been absolutely enchanting and awesome and really fun. We have just 3.7 miles to hike today from Thrasher Cove to Gordon River. So we have to backtrack 0.6 that we did yesterday, get to Thrasher Junction and head on to Gordon River. Apparently this last section, even though it's short, can take people between four and six hours. I suspect it will not take us that long, but we shall see. Maybe we'll be surprised, <laughs> but we got to get to Gordon River, take the ferry across, and the last ferry runs at 3.30. We, we've left just around seven o'clock in the morning, so plenty of time. Anyway, West Coast Trail, day five. Here we go. Back to the trail, straight uphill for points. Back up the ladders. Coming down this yesterday, I was like, this is the steepest hill I've seen on this trek. Now we gotta go back up it. And back up another ladder. Okay, that climb really wasn't bad at all. Definitely got the blood pumping. I'm sweaty, but it wasn't bad. I would call this trail, <coughs> pardon me, I would call this trail moderate in difficulty because there is some harder stuff where you're walking in deep sand or you're climbing up ladders, climbing over stuff. But I think what's missing to make this a difficult trail, in my opinion, for like an experienced hiker is elevation gain. There's just not much of it. It's under 5,000 feet in 50 miles, so. All right, 5K to Gordon River, where we'll finish the trail. It's like that bridge got taken out by snow or rot or something. The trail's definitely rough in this section. A lot of downed wood, it's definitely been rerouted. So we hope we're going the right way. But we know we have a climb, so. Okay, it seems like that was some alternate. Probably because of the bridge. But we're back on the trail. This fog is impressive, huh? Foggy out here this morning. Apparently, this is the high point of the trail. Okay, that climb was like a lot of the elevation gain for the whole trail. Honestly, like, it was nothing. <laughs> Here we have another donkey engine from back in the day when they built the trail or the road. And gotta immediately go straight back up at least a couple ladders. <laughs> we just saw a bear. Well, Pika saw a bear and I saw the legs of a bear disappearing into the fog. So, hey, there are bears out here. Okay, last ladder. Then we're down to the beach to catch a ferry. This is a steep guy. There she goes. She's going first to make sure that nothing breaks. This is a 78 degree angle, but for me it looks pretty straight up. 
She's handling it. One of it. us is afraid of heights. One <laughs> of us is not. <laughs> She's handling it like a pro, but I'm getting nervous just watching her. Oh, that's a long one. It's 35 rungs in all. Woo! All right, she cleared the way for me. Let's hope I don't die. She is going to raise the yellow ball to indicate that we have finished the trail. Last step. Woohoo! We did it! Finished the West Coast Trail. Great fun. Great times had by all. Behold the Gordon River. There's the visitor center over there where we had to check out. All right, and that's it for the West Coast Trail. What a phenomenal adventure. I have nothing but great things to say about this trail. So that section today, that 3.7 miles took us about three hours and we were going at a pretty chill pace, I thought. So what I would like to say to the lighthouse keeper that we met on the first day, who's like, you can't do this in five days, you're crazy. He was like, the, this trail's out flat and easy like the PCT and the AT. <laughs> well, for, I'm now very, very confident he's never been on the AT. And if you've been on the AT, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I would say there's some fear mongering on this trail if you come out and do it, just be aware of that. But other than that, it was, Pika thought yesterday it was hard. I didn't really think it was that hard. So she's yelling and saying I'm a liar. It was what? Oh, she said it was not OSHA approved. <laughs> um, I would say aside from the fear mongering though, absolutely wonderful trail. We saw bears, we saw whales, we saw orcas, we saw sea lions. And I mean, the Canadians that we met along the way, so nice. Thank you, Canada, for your hospitality. We've had a wonderful time. Really appreciate it. I mean, these rainforests are incredible. The beaches are just beautiful. Such a fun time. I would say if you're a, a new backpacker, new hiker, I think this trail will be challenging for you. So give yourself some extra time. If you're experienced, I think it's, it's not gonna be anything crazy for you. I will say though, it would have been nice to have an extra day so that we could have timed the tides a little bit better, but you live, you learn. I've never had to time my walk based on tides before, so that was brand new for me. But I was bummed to miss the Boulder Beach yesterday, not be able to go around Owen Point. So yeah, if you had a little bit more time, you could, you could take more time to look at the tide charts and make sure that you got to go across all the beach sections that you wanted to go across. But the nice part about this trail is that when you can't pass via the beach, usually there is a forest route that you can take. And I mean, these are old growth rainforests. They're incredible. So <laughs> no complaints by me. Okay, Pika reminded me of a really important point to make on the difficulty of this trail, which is that like as experienced backpackers, we've dialed in our gear and our, our packs weigh in the 20 something pound range, fully loaded for this five day backpack, right? So we're doing fine on all the ladders and stairs and like climbing over stuff, like we're doing okay. But we did see a ton of backpacks that looked like they were probably in the 40 to 50 pound range. And we both think that could be really dangerous and that could be what makes this trail so incredibly difficult. Do not pack a heavy pack. Your pack should weigh at least one fourth or lighter, preferably lighter than your body weight. Your feet will hurt you if you pack heavy. Your shoulders will hurt you if you pack heavy. It will be treacherous and you could die. And that's a peak a pack lesson. Thank you, Pika, for saving the people. Here comes the ferry loaded with people about to start their journeys.
Happy trails, you guys. Definitely recommend this trail. Absolutely loved it.